Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope you are being safe and healthy at home and welcome to Swift Learn. Swift Learn is India's most sincere learning destination for the classes 1 to 10. Here we are providing 100% live and interactive classes, personalized attention batch with maximum 6 students because we value our students' attention. We have a dedicated academic mentor team to track and work on students' progress. We cover the syllabus as per the exam schedule and also handle custom requests. So you can find a lot of academic and non-academic to topics from here. And we have our key features such as detailed progress reports, so fluent academic test series, and you can take unlimited practice tests and substitute tests for school exams. So get ready, book a free trial class to do itself and enjoy the art of learning with Swift Learn. And this is your teacher Nana. I'm here with a new session. And if you like the session, please like, comment and share. And we are talking about the food and health. But today's topic is different from the previous one. So today we will learn about the disease, infectious disease, non-infectious disease and its prevention. So in the previous chapter, we learned about the health and the food, like nutrients in our food and our balanced diet. So can you please define a balanced diet? Go ahead. Yes, a balanced diet will have a right amount of nutrients and right type of nutrients, so which will help to get or attain a proper functioning of our body. So today, let's know more about the diseases. Do you know what is meant by a disease? Yes, disease is a disorder which is happening within a body or within an organism or within a part and which will negatively affect a smooth functioning of that body. So a disease is a particular abnormal condition that negatively affects the structure or function of all part of an organism and that is not due to any immediate external injury, so which is not caused by an external injury. So I hope you have a notebook and a pen, so please note down what is meant by a disease. I will repeat that again, a disease is a particular abnormal condition that negatively affects the structure or function of all or a certain part of an organism and which is not caused by an external injury. So what is a disease and what causes the diseases? germ and deficiency will cause the diseases so here we can uh, divide the disease into two types such as infectious disease and non-infectious disease okay infectious and non-infectious so please note down infectious and non-infectious disease and what is mean by a infectious disease so in our daily life we might have suffered due to this infectious disease because it is communicable because which will transfer from one person to another person so that is why which is known as the infectious disease because it will easily spread so this infectious diseases are spread by the germs so when germs enter a person's body and harm it so she or he gets a disease just like the coronavirus so if we won't use a mask or if we will not wash our hands properly, the chances are really get the, to get the corona disease, right? That is why we always sanitize our hands and keep ourselves really, really clean. So let's deep dive into the spread of infectious disease. So this infectious disease are caused by the contaminated food and the water, through air, through insects, to direct contact with the people and through damaged skin. So these are the main causes of the infectious disease. Like, so these are the mediums which can, the infectious disease will travel from one person to another. So through infected food and water. So the germs enter the food through dust, dirt, house flies, cockroach and so many more. So eating and drinking this food can cause jaundice, typhoid, cholera, diarrhea and etc. So we always need to cover the food with some you know net or something or with another plate. Then only we can prevent 
you know, these kind of infectious disease, especially from the dust, dirt, house flies and cockroaches. So, next one is to air. For example, Rahul, he suffered from the COVID-19, like coronavirus. But he was not aware of it when he sneezed. You know, he didn't cover his mouth or, you know, face with something. So, what happened? His mom was there. She inhaled the contaminated air. So, she also got positive with the COVID-19. Which means, these diseases can be spread through the air. So, when a person sneezes, especially a sick person, cough or spits, germs release into the air. So, inhaling such air causes common flu, common cold, measles and chicken pox. So, whenever you will sneeze, you have to cover your mouth. Okay? Good. That is a nice job. So, please note down the common cold, flu, measles and chicken pox are spread through the air. So, through the insects. Okay? So, insects are so responsible for spreading these uh, viruses and the diseases. So, blood sucking insects also spread diseases. So, such as the mosquito. So, they are carrier of germs. Example, dengue is caused by a mosquito. For example, like if the mosquito bit a person who has already the dengue and then the mosquito will again bit another person. So, there is a higher chance to get, you know, the transfer, the dengue is from that mosquitoes to this person. So, through direct contact. Diseases can be spread by touching infected person or using items used by infected person. That is really true. Just take the scenario, take current scenario, that is the coronavirus, right? So, that is why we always wash and sanitize our hands after direct contact with any persons. And we always cover our face with mask. Because there are higher chance to get infected from the person who, who is already infected. Example, measles, chickenpox, common flu and ringworm. Through damaged skin. Skin is as a protective wall for our body, right? Yes. If our skin is cut or damaged, germs can enter our body. I can give an example. So you got a cut on your leg, okay? After that, you didn't wear a shoe and you just went to the playground and you played in the dirty water. So what happened? Because of that, the tetanus virus entered into your body through this cut, right? So we have to use, you know, uh, we have to cover the cut and you have to use the protective medicines to prevent such, you know, such infections. So, prevention of infectious disease. Let's note down the prevention. Keep yourself and your, keep yourself and your surrounding very clean. Let sunlight enter through windows. Sunlight kills germs. That is a good news. So, always get the sunlight. Drink water after boiling for 15 to 20 minutes. If you boil your water around 15 to 20 minutes, the germs, like you know, the germs in the water will die and the water will be good to drink. If required, spray insecticide which will prevent the, fly, the, fly, the flies and fleas and you know, all the mosquitoes. So, prevention can be done by keep away from insected people. Use disinfectants to clean floors, drains and bed linen. Use antiseptic to clean the wound. As I mentioned earlier, use a proper antiseptic or proper medicine to clean your wound and cover it. Use mosquito repellent and mosquito net which will help you to, you know, uh, prevent yourself from biting from a mosquito. So, let's discuss about non-infectious disease. So, we are done about the infectious disease and now we are going to learn about the non-infectious disease. They are also called non-communicable disease which do not spread from one person to another. So, the communicable disease such as infectious disease which can be transferred from one person to another. But is this scenario is really different because the non-infectious disease won't transfer from one person to another. So, these kind of disease 
the non infectious diseases are caused by lifestyle or uh, some kind of deficiency so when it comes to the lifestyle disease the obesity the diabetes the high blood pressure and stroke all these are you know happens because of the lifestyles so the first one is obesity so obesity is a disorder so in which our body will contain abnormal levels of fat so of course our body weight will be more higher so which is not good for our body it will definitely harm your body so causes of obesity are overeating less physical activity and eating unhealthy food so this is an unhealthy condition of being overweight and very fat obesity can cause heart disease and diabetes apart from the physical defects it will also affect your psychological and social well being so what are the symptoms of obesity such as the laziness unhealthy weight gain breathing problem increased sweating difficulty in doing activity okay all these are symptoms of obesity if you are eating a lot and if you don't have proper exercise a weight will increase right which is not good so you can find whether you are obese or not or you are normal weight by measuring your body mass index so in this google you can find a lot of application and which will help you to find your right body mass index so this body mass index measured by your height and your weight according to your age so if your body mass index is less than 18.5 which means you are underweight which is also not good but if your body mass index is between 18.5 to 24.9 then your body weight is really normal which is really good but if your body mass index is more than uh, 24 25 and which is between 29.9 which means you are overweight but you can manage it but if the body mass index is between 30.0 to 34.9 which means you are obese and your body mass index is like more than 35 which means you are extremely obese and which means you are in danger so the diabetes diabetes is caused by overeating less physical activity and stress not only there are some hereditary factors also contributing uh, for the causes for the diabetes so a condition in which a body fails to utilize sugar in our blood excess sugar can also cause other diseases like blood pressure and heart disease that is why if you have diabetes or someone has diabetes we have to control our sugar intake so what are the symptoms of diabetes so the symptoms are the tiredness increased thirst increased urination and increased hunger so which will really affect your daily living so now let's learn about the hypertension hyper means higher tension means the stress so what are the causes such as overeating less physical activity and less sleep so an adult should take like 8 to 9 hours of sound sleep which will prevent the hypertension so also known as high blood pressure growing more in children and adults it may also cause stroke heart disease and kidney disease so as you can see in all these diseases you saw a term that is overeating and also another common term that is less physical activity so just keep in mind please moderate yourself when it comes to eating and do the physical activities so let's look at the symptoms of the hypertension such as headache dizziness chest pain and irregular heartbeat so obviously it will lead to more heart and kidney diseases and stroke so we have plenty of you know different uh different you know we have different so let's revise so define diseases please define the diseases good so diseases are the disorder which is happening 
with an organism and its body and it will affect the smooth functioning of the body. So the diseases can be divided into two types, infectious and non-infectious. So what is the infectious disease? Do you remember? Infectious disease such as communicable disease which is transferred from one person to another due to some causes. So state any three ways of how communicable diseases are spread. So it spread through contaminated water and food to air and through flying insects. And here, write the causes and symptoms of obesity. Obesity is happening due to the lack of physical activity, overeating, stress and hereditary factors. So what is deficiency disease? Deficiency disease means there is not enough or lack of proper nutrients and lack of dietary supplements. And write any two deficiency diseases with the symptoms. As I mentioned earlier, the deficiency disease happening due to the lack of proper nutrients within your food and within your body. So the goiter and uh, the anemia are two kind of two types of deficiency disease. Okay, and this goiter, which is happening due to the deficiency of vitamin D, so you will have a big lump on the neck, and you can prevent this by having proper sunlight and taking milk and milk products so anemia is a deficiency of iron and you will have dizziness you will look pale and you will be tired all the time and you can prevent by eating uh, apples and green leafy vegetables and proper food and let's play an activity so the quest number one which of the following vitamins keeps our body and skin healthy? Is it vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin B1 and vitamin D? Which one? Yes, vitamin D. Diseases which spread from one person to another is known as communicable disease. And first number three. Dash is also known as high blood pressure. Which one? Do you remember? Is the hypertension. So let's check here. Check the answer. It's correct. Which of the following vitamin keep our skin healthy? That is vitamin D. And diseases which spread from one person to another is communicable disease. And dash is also known as the high blood pressure that is hypertension. Good job. Amazing job there. And get ready. So today we learned about the disease, infectious disease, non-infectious disease and its prevention. So thank you for coming today. You are listening so good. If you have any doubts, just review our chapter one more time. And please comment below. Thank you for everyone for coming today. And be safe at home and see you until the next session. Till then, bye.